Far minu, you're in the way. Wah. I'm trying to be serious. Talking tonight about the Milky Way. So when we're shooting uh, pitch black at night, I need a very dim flashlight. And what I've been doing for the past year is to put some black tape. Let me show you a closer look. Oops. Okay, um, yeah. So you have to <laughs> you have to dim down the light a little bit because at max power the tape is melting. So what I was trying to say is that uh, when you shoot with the Milky Way, you need to dim down your light. So the as the lowest level, I think it's 200 lumens on on this one. So I'm blocking half ah blocking half of the head with black tape, black tape just like this one here, very simple, and. That makes me go to 100 lumen, and this is more or less what I need when I shoot it with the Milky Way. It's usually like 60 lumen, so it's not very convenient. I have to just to play a little bit with the tape. It's not the kind of things I want to do when it's cold. Kim is freezing, so I was looking for a better solution, and what I found is the Nightcore SRT5, a smart ring tactical. Look at that. Yeah, it's very smooth. That ring is controlling the brightness of the flashlight. So if I turn it on, you can go at max power here. That is 750 lumens. And then I can go all the way down to 0 0.1. So I don't need to go that low, but most of the time, I'm going to be around right here. So that's precise enough to use with a tube. Uh, there are other levels, and you can hear the click if I use the, the microphone. You can hear it. So it clicks when, when you change the mode, but for the dimmable part, it's very smooth. So just going to explain the different modes. So the first one, if I go all the way to the right, this is constant strobe. It doesn't look constant, but that's because of the frame rate or I don't know. And then if I click once, I'm at max power and I can smoothly dim the light. And then when it clicks again, that's the lowest level. And I click again. That's something, I think it's red light, we don't see it, and then UV, blinking UV, SOS, and other modes that we're probably not going to use. It's really about that smart ring! Ah! Wow! Okay, a little trick also. When shooting with the Milky Way, use a flashlight that is about the same diameter as the tube. So here I have a T8 tube. This is what I use most of the time. So T8 is the, similar to a T5. These are the two smallest tube that you can find. And the thing is that if you're using a T12 tube, a larger tube with the same flashlight, the light is not going to hit the walls properly, the walls of the tube. So to have a, a, an even light that is well distributed from bottom to top, it's really better to have a flashlight that fits well with the tube. Okay, so I'm going to test it for real in about 40 days because we're leaving in 40 days and I'll let you know how it goes. See you later.